the lion roar that Mufasa and other lions have in The Lion King is it's not very accurate. The lion has more of a guttural grunt. Loud and it can travel very many kilometers in communication, but it doesn't sound like the classic roar that you hear in the film. So we're talking about the depiction of the different animal species, and the lions is reasonably accurate for a cartoon, pretty good actually. In terms of the pride structure, so the group organisation that you have, there's a dominant single male, often you'd have a coalition of males, but a single male, a group of females that would be related and their offspring, that is an accurate portrayal of what largely is the only uh, social felid, the lion. Um, cheetahs do show some sociality, we'll see coalitions of offspring and siblings, but the lions have these large social groups as depicted by the film, so that, that's, that's pretty accurate in itself. Other elements, maybe less so. I don't think you'd find all the animals uh, congratulating the birth of a lion, for example, particularly the animals that then are preyed upon by lions, but, uh, but the pride structure is fairly accurate. In terms of animal behavior, they've looked at lions specifically and they've done a pretty good job. They skirt over some of the more brutal aspects of the actual predation and, and even the mating is done with a romantic song whereas lion mating is probably pretty far from that. Many scientists and individuals who like hyenas have come rather kind of uh, been quite concerned is the portrayal of the hyena as this scavenger and like the, it's, the, it's the baddie definitely of the film but spotted hyenas which is the species that they they focus upon are actually very uh, effective predators in their own right, taking upwards of 90% of their own prey, not necessarily scavenging it. They're also highly social, um, they have quite advanced cognitive abilities, so that's the ability to process information and problem solve. And I know a number of researchers, noises were put out of joint by the depiction of uh, hyenas in the film as these kind of evil um, and fairly incompetent individuals who are led by Scar to kill Simba. Other aspects of the, the, uh, the biology are a little bit confused. I think the classic is Rafiki, who doesn't seem to know what he is because he's got the face of a mandrill and the body of a baboon. Um, so yeah, that's kind of interesting. Another one is that you will see leafcutter ants at the beginning of the film walking across and then they cut to zebra, I think it is. Uh, leafcutter ants aren't found in Africa, they're only found in Americas. The whole drive of natural selection is for genes to be passed on to future generations. So the adaptive behaviours that you see for various species, such as social behaviour in lions, maximises the reproductive success of those individuals so that they have larger territories, can defend these areas, therefore greater resources, more offspring. So in such they would be loyal to and uh, each other because that would maximise their reproductive success. So they'll defend their territory, defend individuals within the group. However, if males die or are replaced by another coalition of males, it's very competitive. Those males coming into the pride will kill all of the offspring because they're not genetically related often to those new males and it brings the females into estrus quicker so that they then can sire their own offspring. Students uh, within the School of Natural Sciences have the opportunity to study animal behaviour both in the wild and in the lab during the course of their undergraduate and postgraduate studies. So there is um, our behavioural based modules which have practical assessments looking at animal behaviour obviously, but then we also have field trips in the second year. There is one to Uganda which focuses on primatology, uh, so looking at primates, various different species but also behaviour is a key component in that. And there's also a Spain field trip, which really looks at behaviour of a variety of wildlife species. Uh, further to that, we also have the dissertation module in the third year. I had students collecting data on oyster catchers in the Menai Straits, and even a few students who've gone out to South Africa to study elephants. So it was a great opportunity to study animal behaviour, both in the wild and the lab.